Yo, man, hit that like button, man. Hit that like button. First off, fuck those cops that killed Breonna Taylor, but hit that like button. So this is, um, remember Delonte West earlier this year, I had reported that story. He was walking around the streets. Um, he was in California at the time. Now he's in Dallas, uh, old stomping grounds. He played for the Mavericks. Um, and he's walking around with, you know, help me signs. And, you know, they say you can't help those who don't help themselves or don't want help. But how much help does he have to cry out for? Does he have to directly call somebody? Now, he's 37 years old and he's begging for money on the street. He's played for eight different teams. He was like an NBA road scholar. This guy played for the Supersonics when they were still in Seattle, Dallas, uh, the Cavs, the Celtics. Uh, and there's people are saying that Doc Rivers... And, you know, Jameer Nelson and the Players Organ uh, Association have been trying to get uh, Delonte West help. And I'm like, well, how hard is he to find? Because you got people online saying that they see him all the time in Dallas and people give him money. And, you know, in, in today's world where you got Cash App and GoFundMe and all these different ways to raise money, I don't see how the NBA hasn't been able to do something. Get the guy in the rehab, give him some help. Uh, and the NBA is always known for being a lot more player oriented than NFL they let their players be a lot more socially uh, verbal um you know it's a smaller league so it's, it's always been known for having good PR stuff but they're not fucking doing anything to help out at all of course LeBron the face of the NBA it's a tough situation for him because of course Delonte West that whole situation with him and LeBron's mom that was pretty awkward um so he's not saying anything so <laughs> it's, it's it's tough it's tough, man. And it's like it's, it's sad to see somebody who had potential go down this route and, and, and fucking ruin his life. But, you know, that's what he did. So now he needs help. And it's like, OK, it, all these millionaires, all these people involved in the NBA and nobody can get Delonte West help. Even my team, Dallas Mavericks. I mean, he played with the Mavericks for what, three years. Mark Cuban, somebody, Carlisle, any of the boys like, come on. This is sad, and it, and it makes the NBA look bad because you talk about brotherhood and all of this. We look out for our players. Like Charles Barkley said, NBA 2K, they got all the veterans and OG players who didn't make half as much money in the 70s and 80s and 90s as these guys make now, and they barely pay those guys to be a part of that video game. You know, Now, the NBA, you got to be at least 45 to take your pension out. He's 37, so he don't got eight years to wait. At this point, if Delonte West doesn't get help, I don't think he's going to be around for another eight years to get that pension. It, it's fucking bad. You know, and I don't know the, like, the details or what kind of drugs he's on. It could be anything. Meth. It could be crack. It could be any damn thing. But the guy needs fucking help. You know, and the longer that this continues, it just makes the NBA look bad because it's like this guy didn't play for this. He played for eight fucking teams and not a GM, not an owner, not a coach other than Doc Rivers uh, uh, reportedly has reached out, you know? It's like, come on. And I mean, maybe he just wasn't a well-liked person. Maybe sometimes it's your personality. Of course, we know with LeBron, is, you, you, I doubt it if LeBron's going to stick his hand out with all of the history that they have. But it's an unfortunate situation, man. So, I mean, I'm just hoping Delonte West can get some help. But like I say, all these people always begging for money and cash app and this. I had a girl ask me for $100 a couple of days ago, just randomly, cash app. I'm like... So it's like if, if people can, you know, do that and give people money on their birthday and you donate money and you, everyone's got a OnlyFans and all this shit, you can't fucking help this guy. And I get it. If, you, if, you, if you're like, fuck it, I don't feel sorry for him. He had millions of dollars. and he, Yeah, he had that. You're right. He did. He did. But that shit is gone now. You know, and narcotics and, you know, an addiction is hard to fight. And he just needs help as far as just get him into rehab. I'm not saying give Delonte West $10 million dollars. Let's get them, give him some help to get him into rehab and help him turn his life back around. Cause this guy, he's 37. It ain't like he's some old, you know, washed up guy whose life is one foot into the grave. But, you know, the, the NBA really cares about, you know, you talk about Black Lives Matter. Well, Delonte West is black, too. His life matters, too. You know, help your brothers out and make it look real. It's no different than when you got people wearing vote or die shirts in the NBA and only 20% of the league is fucking registered to vote. You, you got to talk it. You got to practice what you preach. So that's my thoughts on this, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below.